Hey, this is Music Man Dan, and I'm here at Beta Wave TV with Wolves, all capital letters, the Wolf Pack. How are you guys? We're great, Outstanding. Man. Outstanding. Yeah. I love it. We just did a live session here in this very studio. Um, your music is exciting. It's fun. It's different. Um, how did you two meet? Um, well, actually, Sean and I met about four years ago, and it used to be three of us, a uh, homeboy of ours named Rocky. He was in the band for a couple years, and he left on his own accord, you know. That will be the documentary later, the guy that messed up and left the <laughs> too early. Yeah, yeah. Well, 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 we'll see. I mean, he could very well be the next uh, J.K. Rowling or something like that. He's a novelist, so that's why he ended up leaving. Yeah. A writer, yeah, a writer, yeah. writer. So who, who writes the lyrics now that uh, we, we lost one of those guys? Well, uh, Sean and I and, and Rocky, we used to uh, share a lot of those, those duties. Um, but I pretty much, as front man, been doing a lot of the lyric writing. And since Rocky left, I was just like, okay, I'm going to write the songs. Sean, you go ahead, produce them. And it's been much more yin and yang. Um, and it's been, it's been different. It's I mean, been, they say that sometimes it's easier to work in a duo. You know what I mean? And like, if this was the one that was meant to be, this was the one that's meant to be. And people love it, obviously. You know what I mean? You guys are going places, and that's great. Um, what were some of your guys' early influences um, growing up? What, is, what are some bands that you love, stuff that you liked? Goodness, uh, that's a big question. Uh, we have all kinds of influences from uh, Queen is one of our biggest influences. Mm -hmm. We awesome. talk about a lot. Uh, we often describe our music as Queen on acid. Yeah, Queen <laughs> on acid. That's uh, fun. So yeah. Uh, what about you, Mark? I'd say um, <laughs> Stevie Wonder is a big one for me for sure. Nice. Marvin Gaye, Michael Jackson, Coldplay. Hmm. They are. Um, they are a big, big inspiration to us. We we really like the excitement of those stadium bands and what those are, what that feels like in the arena. You know, it's big, it's loud, yeah. it's dancey, it's fun, it's everything. Yeah. yeah, shockingly and sadly, we don't have enough mass to maybe go to Wembley Stadium right now. But you know, with the corona and all that crap going on, it's so. baby steps. You know, what <laughs> baby, I mean? steps, baby, baby steps, steps for sure, for sure. Um, you guys like coined the phrase. Trap surf. Surf trap. Surf, surf trap. trap. Yes. Yeah, see, dyslexia, you know what I mean? It'll get us all. Don't it's worry. All good. It's all but good. Uh, surf trap. So describe a little bit of that, about that for our audience. What's, okay. What, cool. What's that all about? Well, uh, I'm from Chicago. Uh, Sean is from L.A. Mm -hmm. um, and so on the outside of it, surf trap is, you know, L.A. Chicago. You know, that surf, the trap. Chicago definitely has the trap. <laughs> L.A. definitely has the surf. Uh, from a musical standpoint, it's much more like, you know, we we grew up in choirs and singing and stuff like that. So you take like those Beach Boys harmony and those L.A. vibes and you take some Eagles vibes some Queen stuff and you throw in that Post Malone, a little Rihanna, a little Drake, 808s, all that. Mm -hmm. You know, Michael Jackson and then you got us. It makes a real spicy salsa, you know what I mean? You put everything mm. together in a blender, you pulse and then cut out, exactly. out magic. Exactly. I love that. Yeah. Very cool. Um... I, I know there's been a lot of stuff going on, you know, with the pandemic. We're sitting here in June 2020 at the end of the month. Um, a lot of crazy stuff's been going on. The murder of George Floyd, all yeah. the protests. How have you guys been staying mentally healthy through this crazy time? Um, honestly, man, as songwriters, as, as writers, we are blessed because we are going through what everyone else is going through, mm -hmm. but we know how to talk about that and execute that and get that out of our system. Not everyone else is as lucky to utilize what they're going through right now to maybe write it down. Um, and I'm, one thing that's been keeping me saying is, you know, we, we went to actually protest. Uh, that that's actually yeah. helped my sanity, even though it was something that was risky, you know, mm -hmm. coronavirus, you know, possible risk with actual human, you know, physical danger. Yeah. Uh, but it, it really helped me feel like we were in the moment with the people. And, and honestly, being with the people and surrounded by them, as risky as it was, it made me feel a lot better in terms of like my own personal, you know, mentality. Mark, would you say you were inspired by what you saw, or maybe a little step skeptical? Like, what did, what did you, what do you think about everything you saw out there? I'm a I'm a positive guy, so I was definitely inspired, and I, and I felt like it was peaceful anyway. And and even though people are as sad as they are, and and as they should be, as mm -hmm. we should be, yeah, of course. Um, I understood that you know it's it's about people, it's about humanity. And so just being down there, I was inspired. We saw a sea of people that looked like Sean and I, because we black and yeah, white. Yeah, yeah. But even more, it was like young, old, black, white, brown, aliens was down there. Like all type of different, <laughs> everyone was down there, you know? It's important for 
we're all part of one race, the human race. And if we all don't contribute, nothing's going to happen. So it's good to see that everyone's getting out there. We're, what were you kind of touched by getting out there and, and letting your voice get heard? Yeah, definitely, man. It's, it's been really interesting. I mean, I think, you know, it's, it's been upsetting, um, but it's also been, uh, it's shed a lot of light on how many people are in support of this Black Lives Matter movement mm -hmm. and how many people are on board just like, getting rid of fucking racism because mm -hmm. it's bullshit yeah it's yeah. time to bring it down man it's 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 game yeah. over time baby it's and, done and really quickly for just for those people who feel like all lives matter you're right all <laughs> lives do matter but the ones that are black they ain't mattering that much so let's let's get that together i mean almost at this point you're not even asking for yeah. equal rights you're just asking to matter right now right. you know what i mean we haven't even gotten to the equal part yet so yeah. we've still got a lot of work to do and i hope Everyone stays on the high horse and makes yeah. their voice heard. That's the only way anything's ever going to change. Yeah. Um, so I heard you guys had a fun little getaway the, what, <laughs> yes, last, we last did. weekend. Yeah. Uh, what was last it? You guys in the whole band, right? Or what, what was the deal? Yeah. 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 <laughs> we brought, uh, you know, of course, ourselves, yeah. uh, you know, the ladies. And uh, we brought our horn section. We got a trumpet player. Uh, I love me a horn section. Ooh, Cannot who does it? Enough, who doesn't love it? Nice and horny. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good. Man. Uh, we got our drummer, and uh, man, we and we set up everything in the living room of this like beautiful cabin in Big Bear, overlooking Big Bear Lake. Yeah, and it was crazy. We'd wake up to that sunrise every morning and wake and bake. <laughs> see the sunset. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Right. it was just a great trip, man. We got a lot of music recorded, a lot written. Yeah, it was fantastic. Yeah. Done. It's so healing to get out of the city sometimes, get out in nature, and just be with some of your best friends and. Really yeah. create something, you know what I mean? I think that's healing more than anything, wouldn't you agree? Yeah, of course, of yeah. course. I mean, it sucks to say you do kind of have to get back to some kind of normalcy, and that was great. We hadn't. I ha that was my first time going to Big Bear actually. Oh, and, first time? Yeah, yeah. Awesome, uh, right? Yeah, yeah, and, it's and, fun. And yeah. it was involved with, you know, we went to Costco first to get some nice supplies, you know, nice alcohol, you know, beverages. You Loaded know. up, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, um, I've been to the 36 racks. Yeah, I know all about it. Of course. Yeah, I know. yeah, man. And then we had a nice old hot tub there, <laughs> so relaxation. We had a grill. We grilled out. Suds and buds, baby. This oh, guy on a grill, man. He's a, a grill master. He's a genius. I also know my way around a grill. <laughs> okay. So Ooh. we might have to have a grill off. <laughs> hey, one of these. It's summertime, baby. Don't threaten me with a good time. I'm your huckleberry. No? I love it. Well, that's really cool. Um, thank you guys so much for sharing. Uh, mm -hmm. Mark Avery, Sean uh, Carney. Carney. I want to say Sean Connery. You know what I mean? That's Everybody that does. Everybody does <laughs> it's right? not just you. It's, it's, it's not the worst. You know yeah, what I mean? mean it's not it's the worst. Not the worst. Um, I know you guys have done a little bit of this music up in Big Bear. We're looking forward to a new EP in fall, right? Is that is that what we're shooting yeah, for? So right. we uh, just came out with a, an EP a few months back with um, Cairo. Uh, who's a friend oh, of ours, yeah. uh, cool, cool, cool producer, awesome, even better person. Mm -hmm. um, we're working on that. Uh, the second the um, follow-up to the Dynamic EP, uh, you should be looking for that in the fall, and I'm sure before then you might see us with some songs on TV or not, you know. Something to look forward to, people. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> and, Love um, it. After that, we uh, are actually like working on another project, like a, a, a album, actually. Hopefully it can get full full length album. Full length album. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah. And so uh, maybe a little more. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we yeah. got a lot. Just, just sprinkling a couple extra in there for yeah. everybody. You know I, what mean, I mean, yeah. you know, <laughs> Super Mario powers can uh, come out, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I love it. Very cool. Exactly. It's highly confidential right now. Yeah. So well, it's under wraps, people. Can't okay. Really talk Some about to look it. forward to, but we don't know anything else. Yeah. Okay. That's I want to know too. I really <laughs> do. But uh, that's great. Well, you can find these guys, Wolves, all cap letters on uh, all, the, all the things the, the Facebook, the Instagrams, the. Mm -hmm. The, Twitter. the Twitters, mm -hmm. the Apple Music, uh, Spotify, go listen to them. They're great. They're mm -hmm. amazing people. And they're somebody you guys should uh, get to know. Mm -hmm. um, Beta Wave TV here. Thank you guys so much again. Thank, Thank you, Dan. You. Looking Thank forward to so more. Much. All right. Have a good one.